Today we'll be talking about how to display a web view in React Native's new architecture using Fabric. Uh, so first of all, I have created a default React Native project. Uh, so here you can see, and the final output here would be you can see that. So the below is a web view is a text component in React Native. So here you can see it. So I have a text component, and this is my custom component for web view. So this is how it looks on uh, Android and this is how it looks on ios so i'm just loading the facebook.com uh, url and occupying the full width and height so i have created a default react native project now to enable uh, the new architecture i will go to the documentation so first is for ios cd to your ios directory and try to run this command you might face two issues this one is the first issue so what you have to do is again cd back to your root directory of your project and try to run this command again go back to your ios directory try running this command if you still face an issue then this could be the one then you might try want to try this or if you want you can try the other answers as well i also have a uh, video on my channel regarding this issue where i have explained in depth about this issue uh, so once uh, this command runs successfully for iOS directory for your iOS folder uh, try to run yarn iOS and in the metro bundler you should see uh, this uh, fabric colon true which means uh, the new architecture has been enabled same for Android as well uh, what you have to do is you have to search for new arc enabled so I will just search for new arc enabled and in gradle dot properties you have to make this as true and then run yarn android which will make uh, and make sure the fabric colon true is visible on your metro bundler which means the new architecture has been enabled now go to fabric native components and here it specifies that create a folder called rt and center text outside your project root directory but according to me it is incorrect you should create it inside the root project uh, inside your uh, react native project otherwise you will face a lot of issues so don't create it outside but create it inside your react native project so i have created a folder called uh, rtn my web view which you can see over here and inside that create android ios and js folder uh, next what you have to do in js folder you have to create an interface so mostly i have copied everything from over here only thing which has been changed is the name again naming should be consistent so here rtn my web view and this in js folder it should be rtn my web view whatever your folder name is followed by native component.ts and here it whatever your folder name is and here i am passing url because we will be sending a url from react native to the native side and whatever is been whatever is the url uh, that web page should be displayed so once that is done we have to create package.json again package.json should not be inside the js folder but it should be a sibling to your js folder so create a package.json file and here this should be changed the name this should be changed the pod spec and this should be changed rt and my web view spec if you want you can change it over here as well but these are like github links so doesn't really matter then we have to create this pod spec file again name is important so it would be rtn dash my dash web dash view dot pod spec and this should be changed rtn dash my dash web dash view once that is done okay we have already created the pod spec now we have to create in android we have to create build dot gradle and we have to create this folder structure so inside android I will create build.gradle again copied everything from the documentation only thing which I have added is this kotlin apply plugin kotlin android because I want to use kotlin and not java next you have to and, uh, add the kotlin standard lib to your project and in namespace it should be rtn my web view also just to be on the safer side in your main android folder go to build.gradle and add this line kotlin version as well as this line class path org kotlin version next in your app build.gradle you should add this line as well as you have to add this line so in your android folder of rtn my web view in create src folder 
main java com rtn my web view and create a folder called my web view uh, package my web view package dot kt copy paste everything from over here but instead on line 13 on line 13 for now you just have to return empty list this is important because you have to do code j if you do something like this you will face an issue we will change this line later on so for now just return empty list next we have already done this already done this so for to do code gen for ios what you have to do is so i have this command so you have to run this command inside the root of your react native project so run this again they have mentioned it double dot because they have created this project folder outside the project but ours is inside that's why we only require a single dot and next we have to run this command so no before that once we run this command uh, that we have to do cd dot dot and then run this command okay so just call, run this command uh, basically again i have copy pasted it from the documentation only thing which has been changed is the project name project name project name and this folder name here they have not specified the project name on output path because the rtn center text is outside the project folder but in our case we need to provide the project name here so this will create the generated folder which you can see over here this folder would be generated for you next uh, we have to create the required files for ios so go to your ios directory create rtn my webview.h again copied everything from the documentation though you have to add this import which is required for webkit uh, w uh, wk webview and uh, you have to change the file name over here as well again this import is very important otherwise you will face issues next what you have to do is uh, create rtn my webview dot uh, mm file and rtm webview manager dot mm again copied everything from the documentation only this file name has been changed uh, here has been changed and this url has been changed because we are exposing the url property from react native we are passing the url prop next inside rtn my webview dot mm uh, copied everything from documentation only this has been changed this file path has been changed according to your folder name this has been changed this has been changed this has been changed and here we will take a wk web view uh, this has been same only this has been changed file path again this is exactly the same here we are creating a wk web view uh, instance and allotting it to the self dot content view in update props we are just checking whether uh, the prop has been changed or not so depending on it we are assigning it to our web view and again these are basically copied from documentation only the naming has been changed this has been changed and this has been changed next so we have already created all these files next for android again you have to run this command okay so we have already run this command but you can uh, do it once more if you want to so go to the go to your uh, react native project and run this command and next you have to cd to your android uh, directory and then run this command once you are do, uh, done with this it will generate a code gen which you can see inside your node modules so you would have an rtn my web view folder instead of rtn center text and it should have a content like this next we have to generate required files for android so for android we have to do Go to android go to src so first in my web view uh, web view package.kt now instead of return empty list you can write this line on line 13 and in my web view.kt we are just extending the web view we don't have to do much other than that and in my web view manager i have just copy pasted everything from documentation only thing that has been changed is the file names as well as i have converted java to kotlin so here you can see all the imports again file name has been changed file name changed file name changed file name changed 
again copy the from documentation this should be uh, your folder name be careful with this and here I, I am using the URL prop and setting it to our web view so we have already created this this and this now again we have to run this command so go to your uh, root of your react native project and run this command once you run this command you have to cd to your ios directory and run this command again which will generate a pod of your um, react native my web view uh, folder so cd to your ios and run this command and uh, to use this what you have to do is go to your app.tsx and you can import it like this so whatever your file name is so import it like this and you can just use it like this so yeah that's it you can pass any url which you want thank you for watching bye